so in this video I'm going to talk about load management and load management basically is looking at your load or looking at the amount of sessions you have over an entire week and planning them appropriately so you aren't overloading yourself and increasing your risk of injury overall okay after a game it takes around about two to three days to recover full, fully okay and that really depends on the amount of high speed running you do during that game. A high speed running is basically when you're sprinting or if you're running over 17 kilometers an hour, okay? If you are running in a game and let's say you cover a lot of distance, so a lot of people here will have GPSs on them. If you're covering 12K, 10K, that's excellent, but that does that you recover from that fairly quick. But if you're covering maybe 1,000 meters, 2,000 meters of high speed running, then it takes a, a small bit longer to recover. And the reason I'm talking about this is fatigue is obviously going to be one of the biggest risk factors for injury. So if it's taking you two, three days to recover and then you're just overloading or compounding that fatigue by training the next day, not taking a recovery day, training the next day, not taking a recovery day, then you'll find that you're going to get injured a lot quicker. So what I would say is plan to have two recovery days every week. If you can get two consecutive days, that'll be absolutely excellent. But I know people here are going to be dual players. They might be playing harder than a footballer. They might be training with a... With a with a college team or they might be trying even rugby and soccer you could be playing with a lot of different teams at the same time so it's going to be, might be difficult to get those two days in a row but i would definitely recommend trying to get two days every single week that you're taking off completely and that you're just relaxing you might be going through maybe a few mobility exercises or an active recovery like a light walk now if you do that long term you'll see a massive improvement in your performance and then you'll also see a huge reduction in your injury risk but on the opposite side of that, if you're going to be training five, six days a week every day, I should say if you're going to be training six days every week, then you will see things will start to break down and niggles will come out. And it's because the body can handle it. They can handle a lot of stress, but it can't do it over the long term. You need, you need to have times of stress, like in the gym, and you need times of recovery. Okay, so it's going to be really important that you plan recovery days as best you can. Now, what does it look like or what does a recovery day look like? It could just be going for a light swim, it could be going for a light walk, it could be basically just working on like stress management stuff so you're getting out in nature. It could be going through a mobility and movement routine and you can pick the mobility exercises from this program and you can start to work through those as well every day. The ones that are not causing you any stress, the ones that aren't putting any extra, extra load on you, they're going to go a long way in helping you recover faster and reducing your risk overall.